Mercadorpus outpost, a Jagni tribe stronghold. Hand up, hand up, further you go. You fall a bit short when it comes to resources. We're all heroes of our own stories, or so we hope. Let's see.
That's a gnote, easy prey for Looper Lupin. For everyone else, they're a perfect mount and easily tamed if they are kept fed. Give it a little kick. That's a resource totem, a monument left behind by those that picked scrap trying to keep the area clean. Some solid wood scrap there. It's the chug yard. Needs a key. Locked. It's a fine way to ride. The board mainly has posts from those that used to work at the chug yard back in the days gone. They don't make much sense these days. Not much more to say about the board, but Gizmo is holed up in the underyard here working on that mecton of his. The Toxanol Corporation used to run chugger chuggers out of here, big machines on rails with smokestacks that fouled the air. They can carry you anywhere you like, well, anywhere that they go to, and then you can leg it from there. You're on the right track, keep your eyes open. Tribes always scavenging for scrap, and the yard has plenty to go around. 
but they should have stuck to looting instead of playing around with sprockets. Bonker Bonkers busy ram banging the door. This is your chance. shot. Heroes inspire in a way nothing else can. That's the good stuff. Let's see. can do anything. The sky's the limit. Now, let's take this back to Earth. Wow, you really took that all the way down to the end. In flames. Yuck! Fire has it. Sickening. It's a wonder some of these up and downs still work. Guess they built machines better in the past. The spent nuclear fuel that Toxanol dumped in the surf had detrimental effects on the marine habitats while the overflowing landfills contaminated the groundwater. Combined, this sent their world hurtling on an inevitable road to ruin. Fate is funny that way, but it won't always make you laugh. <laughs> I need to brush up on my Wando, but I have a feeling he believes it was you that caused the bang at the yard. Oh, and he says he knows you. You used to call him Gizmo. He gave you the oil-greased hands when he taught you how to upcycle. Gizmo remembers you as a nice kidling, and he can still sense the warmth of your good heart. But Gizmo says how you experience a memory can be different. You know the story, but sometimes the truth it brings is personal.
Logical. For that, Gavu, let go of him. It carries so much hate, and its insatiable hunger has only increased over the years since it claimed revenge on your parents. Gizmo says he also has re-memories from the long gone, but unlike you, he doesn't think of the past, for it's gone. He understands history made Loopa Loop in a big part of your past, your present, and soon, your future. You still believe there's some good in everyone. You still have hope for tomorrow. Well, I value by you. He says you should know that what's meant to be will always find a way, but history shouldn't consume you. Gizmo understands you still have strong feelings, but urges you to keep them under control. You've witnessed firsthand what it'll lead to. Yes, that's the way. No arguing with that. Sometimes your gut is flat out wrong. Don't ever doubt yourself. You are number one. Even the dark knows you're better than this. Stick with me. We'll rule the world. Would like to know if you ever doubt the choices you made on the path that brought you to this point. Would you have been happier going in a different direction? Supposes that's all any of us can do. Hard to believe the world is actually going to survive. Just seemed impossible till now. Understands why you're bent on finishing the world off. Supposes it's a mercy to make it faster. Wonders if you liked working with the Myriad. They always seem so centered and so seeking. Figures everyone does. They seem unusually dedicated to finding them. But that's not important now. Gizmo says it's taken a long time to bring the past up to the present, and where you go from here is up to you. You need to set the past aside, at least for now. <laughs> He can't leave the Underyard as he has no protection against the vacuum in the Dead Zone. So you need to salvage scrap to upcycle the Mekton, starting with the old crate outside. You should return when you've retrieved the scrap. There's no time to waste if you want to make the Mekton strong enough to fight the Jumbo Buff. There are more crates from before the apocalypse left out in the wild. Easy to find if you keep an eye out. You should be able to gather enough scrap to upgrade the Mekton from them. They're short of breath and death to this zone. Better take care. He who half breathes, half lives. Feel like a landed fish? You sound like one. Your chest is squeezing. That's the leftover you're looking for.
Did it just get quieter? You can't wait to get out, can you? Let's pocket that. Stay away from that biohazard. You'll want to wash yourself off for a month. It's easy to lose track of time down here. Zippity zip. He says that's enough to get the Mekton functional. You'll have an engine, a fuel soaker, a gun, and a gathering net, but no armor, nor enough oxygen supply. He made a suction device, so the Mekton can use the black tar as an instant refuel. You can also use it to clear oily goo puddles, so you can pass and access hard to get to areas. He's been working on another project for the Mekton, a cannon, but it needs ammunition, and by that he means the scripts. He says if they're trained right, they'll turn into a distraction for the Jumbo Puff. The best way to find scripts is to go talk to Moog. 
he knows the ins and outs of every breathing thing left alive after the apocalypse. Fruit, drink, drink, typo. <laughs> Unfortunately, this means you'll have to venture farther out into the dead zone than Moog's camp on the steep depot. Once you find Moog, he'll be able to give you directions to where you'll find Squips. Squips, pigs. Gizmo thinks he's a little peculiar, but very knowledgeable. He has the ins and outs of all monster and creature whereabouts. Grease Monkey's Mecton is built sturdy, just like himself. Can you imagine how this place used to look before the dead oil flung? It's so dark out. Might want to hold your breath before you head any further. You're about to witness the breathtaking vistas of what's known as the Dead Zone. In the old world, roads like this really led somewhere. Now, most of them lead to disaster. The air's too thin here. That over there is Steepo Depot, the cliffside that Moog hangs on to. Ring out. What? Curious about what's up there? But see me. In more. Diava. Mustad Balwa Karuta. This one's impressed to see you out here. He figured you'd be dead by now. Not many are as tough and clever as you must be. Says a monster hunter hears many things on the wind. Mook says that all your power doesn't do you a bit of good if you're not willing to pull the trigger when the time comes. Out there with the monsters, it's kill or be killed. Which will it be for you? You might have a steady aim, but you need to be sure that you pick your targets with care. It's hard to make those life or death decisions for others, but someone's got to do it. Otherwise, they'll do it themselves and you know they'll miss. Some claims he mostly kills whoever he doesn't like. Kidlo over Bug Bug Ah, but you're analog. 
says it's wild that the world seems to be coming back, but he supposes that means more monsters for him to shoot. Miss Zatuna gets why you're thinning the herd so hard, but he wishes you'd leave some monsters for everybody else. But ya analop wuxa u in kale. Says you should give up on working with the stubborn myriad. He keeps trying to put out their lights and they keep putting up new ones. Goga. He's afraid you're just as stubborn as them. In Mo. But enough of that, right? Papa Zulu. In Mo. In Tabadanj. He says the wildlife, nature, has changed and turned against us. Instincts of survival took over when the world changed. He's not sure about their veggie diet anymore, and if it's changed, who knows what it's done with the chemical composition of their body output. Right now, though, he feels he's come to a point where he's got a pretty clear idea on the whereabouts of monsters, both tall and short. Thinks that it all hangs on the tree of life. When it started to fail, everything changed. Moog says you must learn to walk before you can run. It takes practice before you can call yourself a monster hunter. Fortunately for you, he can help. He understands you need to start off with something small before you go big. There's no better place to start than a squip cave. Hunting down a couple of these little critters for yourself should keep you on your toes. Thinks you have bigger issues than your so-called haunting skills if you're going to nitpick on his grammar. Let's see. Pick your path carefully by whatever you can see. Nothing like a little exercise. <laughs> Wait, it's the Squip Hola. The place is just filled with critters. Hear that? It's called quiet. Those are the kind of things you need.
Once the volatilization from the nuclear waste evaporated, a volatile gas rose through the soil and infested structures, even Toxanol's own buildings. So, in a way, they caused their own death. There's so much more below the ground. Oh, idea. Go knock the lid off that sludge truck. It'll fill the place up and you can get up to that entrance there. You can make something from that. Feel that? That's death in your fist. Looks like the switches need to be turned to match so enough charge can flow through the conductors. Just a few moves left, make them count. Bristles like the hair of one electrified. You need to line up the switches so they match. Yeah. 
bristles like the hair of one electrified. You need to line up the switches so they match. Bristles like the hair of one electrified. Hey, tough guy. The dark's good for sneaking up on things. You need to line up the switches so they match. Bristles like the hair of one electrified. You need to line up the switches so they match. Good. That's enough electric current to initiate the actuators and Activate the framework. Blade <laughs> screaming, beware.
He says that's enough squips to sustain the Mecton's claw crane cannon with infinite ammunition. Well done. It's not his cleanest invention so far, but it gets the job done. Use it to suck up gooey oil puddles in the Mecton's way so you can pass. Gizmo's made vehicles before to confront the Jumbo Puff himself, but failed. But this time, it's different. The Mecton will be strong enough to do the job. It's time to put a stop to the World Eater now, otherwise he fears the damage it's caused to the tree already will be too much to handle. He asks you to not even think about taking on the Jumbo Puff on foot. You'll need the Mecton to do the job, take his word for it. There's time to improve the Mecton before you confront the Puff. There are more wreck boxes out in the dead zone with gear you should be able to equip the Mecton with on your own. He got the idea to build the Mecton when he found a big crate containing the metal frame for something Toxanol had named an exoskeleton. Fruit drink typo. Gizmo wants to help if he can. Oh, yeah. Says next time you run into the old one again, tell him how scrunched he is. The southeast tree of life root has a world eater gnawing on it with three heads. It's triple hungry. <laughs> Understands you have other places you need to go. <laughs> Gizmo wants to help if he can. <laughs> Says the tree of life connects all creation. Wonders how you'd have turned out if Lupa Lupin hadn't come for your family all those years ago. Has plenty to do, so no worries. Gizmo wants to help if he can. You need to help Gizmo defeat the Jumbo Puff before it destroys the West Root. Fruit drink, drink typo. Says the Ankati tribe has worked harder than anyone to get respect. Clapo, do. Wouldn't be surprised if you met again. Gizmo wants to help if he can. You need to help Gizmo defeat the Jumbo Puff before it destroys the West Root. Wonders if you should be hiding during the day. So many want you gone. Wouldn't be surprised if you met again. Gizmo wants to help if he can. Says you look too old to be collecting toys. Been watching you and loves how you don't care about anyone but yourself. Says talking to you was interesting. Gizmo wants to help if he can. 
says good on you for chatting with Out of Date. Says you should take it easy. Gizmo wants to help if he can. Wishes you goodbye. These steel legs were made for walking. Go make the most of the day. like this to get a proper meal back in the old world. Right between the eyes. Nothing sad. There's a place and time for everything, but for that city scenario, it's already come and gone. Shelter 7B is still there, open and ready to shelter. haven't seen the sky for the last time.
through. Don't you just love the smell of burning black juice? Reflexed. Stand up on your own two feet.
enemies will flee before you. Tin can? Let's see. Where do all the critters go? Stomping time! far between, but not around here. Here's shelter 7C2, and it's not far from where 7C is. Sure, you're going the right way.
sound seems to travel farther than night. a jumbo puff with an appetite. Ain't no fuzz. Better put an end to it before it ends our world. for an electric performance. a ride down the intestinal canal. That's too close to the end station. Better look at you, all pooped out. 
from this point on, there's no way forward but going back in. Close to the end station. Better move up, up and away, or be swept out the bowel way. Wow, what a super sized worm with. That must be as big as the thumb with the four as he's pumping at half a beat. You know what to do. You see, it's what's on the inside that counts. That meaty Taurus is already off beat. End it. Go down with a throw up. Can it really get any better than that? He thanks you for dealing with the first World Eater. It's a start. You should go see Out of Date and find out what you can about the machine he's named the Ark. Even if Out of Date doubts your intentions, he depends on your help, and the Sifu is confident he'll let you know what you need. He trusts you know where to find out of date by now. He's always been at the foot of the tree, and that hasn't changed. It's quiet here. Too quiet? Oh, 
Gizmo will always make time for you. Glad to find someone who sees the world for the disaster it already is. Understands you have other places you need to go. Gizmo will always make time for you. Wishes someone could end that hoofed world eater. Untended, the world will go under with time. Understands you have things to do. Gizmo will always make time for you. Has plenty to do, so no worries. <laughs> 